Thousands of Metro Detroit drivers are on I-696 right now. That commute will soon be even more complicated. That's because new repairs will bring a big new closure. We're talking about westbound 696 from I-94 to I-75, and drivers aren't the only ones who will suffer. Paula Tutman looks at how businesses will need to prepare. Paula, this is a big deal here. You know, this really is a big deal. I mean, we all know how much fun it is to drive on Michigan's freeways in weather like this, right? No, not, not at all. Prepare to amplify that. This is not gonna be fun, but it is critical to know, it is critical to know now, and it is critical to prepare now, even though this doesn't even get started until the spring. Hard to dress this one up, especially if time and miles are money. 696 Expressway is just that, a fast-moving artery that connects the east side of Metro Detroit with the main vein downtown, the all-important I-75. And come next spring through fall, westbound is shut down completely for repairs. A lot of drivers, uh, 75,000 at least who use 696 West, are going to have to start thinking about what's another route. Can they maybe change their work schedule? What else can they do? Because so many people are going to be affected. It'll be tricky for those in the business of moving commerce, like the guys delivering rental vehicles who count on expressways to move fast. What we try to do is uh, get to the destination in the safest, most efficient way we can. MDOT is advising businesses now to figure out the best route to keep commerce moving. Eastbound traffic will always be able to go east. We just may be moving them around. Westbound is the direction that'll be closed the whole time. The preferred detour, especially for trucks, that heavy truck traffic will adversely affect surface roads, creating a whole new pack of problems for neighborhoods and the counties that service those surface roads. We're gonna close I-94, both east and west 94, to go west on 696. Those ramps will close. Then all of the westbound direction out toward I-75 will be closed westbound only from 94 to 75. So basically, anybody who goes westbound to get to I-75 from here to here, they've got to find a different route. They need to find a different route, and we want them to take 94 down to I-75, I-75 north, back to 696. That kind of volume, that kind of weight needs to be on a freeway designed to handle that. Okay, so this is a $90 million project. It is still being designed, so we don't have the exact date of the closure, but expect it to be rather to start in the spring. They expect it to be done in the fall. They say that this will last for decades by improving the road.